But you, how are you? We are talking about talking about yourself. Wait, 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 wait. I think we're going. Are we going to go straight into into YouTube? Yes, we are. Salvo and my gents, Linjani. Thank you so much for joining us. Thank you so much for joining us um, while we do this lesson, and we are very happy to have your presence here. Uh, please um, don't forget to share, like, and subscribe, um, and also just tell others about what we're trying to do here. Uh, so today we're talking about talking about yourself is the title of today's lesson. So we'll just upload that for you. Uh, this is a Ndebele lesson, of course. So Salbon and my gents, um, here we are. So we won't waste your time. Let's just delve right in. Right, right. So first of all, I want you. I want to ask you this question. Can you see any pattern here? Can you see if you can... Um, dictate a pattern here, right? So there's, there's this word here, ngangi, ngangi, okay? If you go back to our basic reading lesson, because um, now we're no longer doing those shady spellings, we're doing straightforward spellings, right? Ngangi means I was, ngati means, ngati means I said. So I, so I pronounced that wrong, ngati means I said. Minangingu means I am. Niza means I will. Guami, Sami, Yami, you know, all these words that you see here. Guami, Yami, Sami, Wami means mine. Okay? Or oh my. This uh, if Lami means with me. Ngetwa means by myself. So this is the most important part of today's lesson. So if you want to freeze uh, the video right here and see if you can remember all these words, these words will sort of uh, be your main uh, blocks in talking about yourself. Many times we want to explain what we are doing, whether something is ours or not. Um, what we did yesterday, what we've said. So this part of the slide, if you can just freeze this and keep it in your head, it can help you with your practice, right? So let's 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 do a few examples, and I'll show you what I mean. So the word I am going, right? Yeah, you know, the way you say I am going is niya e. So this is in the case of where you're telling people where you're going, okay? Nia would be enough for I am going, but if you if you if you want to say I am going to, you would say Nia e. This is a e, and then you would at, on the at the back of that e or at the front of that e, then you would attach where you are going to. So let's let's give an example. Let's say for example school. The word for school is scolo, right? Scolo, right? Or oh, so you would say I am going to school would be. Nia Escolo. The word for city is town. So if you wanted to say I am going to town or I'm going to the city, you would say Nia a town. This is really a, 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 a cultural issue in Zimbabwe. Town or city town refers to the city. Okay, it refers to the city center. So, so you would be saying Nia a town. So you could literally attach every other thing if you wanted to. So now let's let's go into the into the mind, uh, how you describe into the possessive, uh, into into the possessive words, how you describe what's yours and what's not yours. Okay. So the word for a car, if you remember from our one of our videos, is imota, imota. So when you want to say it's my car or my car, you would be saying. So the word this is this is what says mine. So in Devele, you first describe the thing. You first of all tell what the thing is. So whether it's a laptop or your phone or your book, first of all, you say what the thing is and then you say whose it is. So so if you want to say my book, you don't say yami pugu, right? You would say ipugu lami. 
So for my car, you would say, Imota Yami. And if for your family, the word for family is Imuli. So how would you say my family? How would you say my family? So remember what we said. First of all, you describe the thing and then you say whether it's yours or not. And that will be Imuli Yami. The word for phone is Ifoni. So I'd, I'd just like you to see a few things here. You can see Imota, Ifoni, Imuli, Imuli, Ifoni, right? So you can see the E, 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 right? So if it's a laptop, it would be E laptop, okay? If it's a basket, it would be E basket. So most of the time, we are, we are better off if it's, a, if it's a technology thing, if it's something that's come to Zimbabwe from the West, you are better off always putting an E before you describe that thing and you just basically say that word in English. So, you know, that's how it would work. So, so it would be like Ifoni for phone. So how would you say my phone? Ifoni Yami. Ifoni Yami. Okay? There you go. So now, just a quick note on those possessive words. If you go back to our slide, you can see that I've actually don't have just Yami. I've also got Sami. I've also got Lami. I've also got Zami. These are all different ways of saying mine, but they go with different words. I've chosen not to uh, put words that might require you to use Sami or Lami in this example, because I will show you how to do that later. But for now, whatever word you want to say, if you go with Yami, if it's wrong, the people will correct you, but they will always understand what you mean. So for now, just go with Yami. Okay, so that's that's what I, I was talking to you about there. So do you remember how we said you say I said? So do you remember how to say hi? Sharp. Remember that? So you can say sharp or I'm gonna introduce a new one here. Sagubona. Sagubona or sharp. So it's really up to you. Okay. So if you wanted to say I said hi. Okay, do you remember how to say I said? Okay, that's why I said you need to freeze that first video, that first uh, slide there on the video. So you would be saying, Nite Sagubona, or you would say, Nite Sharp. Okay, the word for sorry is sorry, right? Sorry. So how would you say, I said sorry? You would say, Nite sorry. You see that? I said I am going to school. How about that one? Okay, do you remember how to say I am going to school? So can you now add, I said I am going to school and try and say that together? It would be, Nite Nia Escolo. Right. So how about uh, when you want to, another example here, is if, when you want to talk about what you're doing in the present, right? So uh, do you remember how to say I am? So we say it, I would suffice for that. But let's have a look. But this, in this case, you want to say um, I am coming, right? The word for coming uh, comes from this verb, Ugu buya, but if you all you do is you cut out the ugu. If you remember when we did a few verbs in the belly, so let's just highlight this part. Okay, this whole word would be ugu buya, but what you want is um. Okay, don't allow. Okay, so what you want? So what what you want here is. Uh, let's so under that word. Okay, let's see. Yeah. Okay. I'm I'm sorry. There, I was just having a bit of trouble. So let's just. Okay. Let's just 
erase this. Uh, I'm very sorry, I'm having trouble here with my Oh, I can't, I can't rub it out. Okay. Oh, yeah, we've gone back. Okay, good. So for coming, you'd say ugubuya, right? But if ugubuya means to come, but if you are going to edit to make it present, you would read to get rid of ugu. So the word ugu, if you remember, means to. So if so, you need to, you, you don't need to put that in. So buya would be just coming. That would be present tense if in, in 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 this case so i am coming you just delete the ugu and you would be left with nyabuya okay nyabuya i am coming the word for driving is ugu driver right ugu driver so that means to drive right so if you wanted to say i am driving you would just have Okay, let's try a few more. The one more, sorry. The word for cooking is ugupega. Ugupega. Right? So how would you say I am cooking? Right? How would you say I am cooking? You would say nya pega. Nya pega. Right. Okay. So we've done this already and we've worked on it together. Thank you very much. So next time, guys, um, we'll learn how to talk about others. And um, if there's one thing that I've realized, I think that it's much better if the videos were shorter and we covered more, we covered one small thing at a time instead of covering a lot of things. So uh, from now on, expect to have uh, shorter videos, right? And then, um, thank you very much, guys. See you next time. Bye-bye, guys.